Hey guys, uh, in this Photoshop tutorial, I'll show you the method I use to turn this uh, black and white uh, photo manipulation into this colored version uh, just by using several uh, image adjustment layers. I have the full tutorial of this photo manipulation work published on psdevelop.com a few days ago and I have a link below to the full tutorial. So if you are interested, uh, just feel free to have a look at that link. But in this video tutorial, I'll just be covering the the part where we uh, start applying the color effect. All right, let's get started. So as you can see, I've got three image adjustment layers here. So the first one is the selective color layer. The second one is the color balance. And the last one is just the curve layer to adjust a bit of uh, contrast. So the real important part uh, is the first two layers here. So I'm just going to turn them off for now. So as you can see, we start from a black and white to the, fa to the background. And uh, you can also see there are several other colors. So in here we have a bit of red. Uh, some golden uh, yellowish color and some pinkish color here. Uh, we also have some f um, flying particles uh, here, uh, so in here, and also uh, some other uh, particles down below with uh, some slightly different colors. Um, so, and the whole image uh, is based on. Um, a, a, a black background with some um, textures above here and got a bit of a gray and white color so it's really good that we sort of start from the selective color there because by doing so we can adjust individual colors if you have used uh, selective color image adjustment tool before uh, you will know that in selective color you can sort of uh, fine-tune each of this color here so because we have a sort of a very simple color scheme so basically we really wanted to just to fine-tune the red white neutrals and the blacks so as you can see here if you set it to the reds option here and you adjust the, the value here you can see the part where it's in red changes but the rest of the image remain un unchanged and also same thing here if you adjust the magenta value here um, it only changes the the where where the um, where the red colors is so it's really really handy because you don't really want to uh, affect the background color too much you just wanted to fine-tune the reds here okay so if we're gonna have a look at the white uh, colors uh, I also changed some of the white color value here and you can you can really play around and and as you can see uh, especially the middle part here where it's pretty much all white uh, if you adjust the value here the color changes so it's really up to you what value you want to put in here um, but the handy part with this uh, selective color adjustment is that if every time you adjust this uh, white or, or reds it doesn't change the other colors but only the colors you chose and same thing goes with the neutrals so if you adjust the neutral value here as you can see anything that was in gray color sort of changes so again it's up to you to fine-tune this uh, values here um, and find your uh, ideal color 
and the last thing is the blacks because we got some blacks um, portion on the image so you wanted to just slightly adjust the black part as well to match the rest of the color changes so again if you adjust the black's value no matter whether it's cyan, magenta or yellow um, only the parts in black changes on the on the image so in summary selective the selective color adjustment tool uh, it's it's really just a tool uh, that you can use to adjust uh, individual colors uh, without affecting the rest. I'm just gonna have a look at the color balance layer, uh, which is the another layer on top of the selective color layer. So again, we by using this color balance adjustment tool, we can adjust the tones. So you got three options: you got shadows, you got mid tones, you got highlights. For this photo manipulation, I only adjust the mid tones, so it's just to add some uh, sort of cyan and purple color. I sort of change set the values, as you can see here. So this is just to give the give the image uh, some uh, sort of cool uh, bluish and, and and sort of purple purple color, um, and it's just to give the overall effect uh, a bit of um, touched up with this uh, mid-tones uh, color balance uh, adjustment. And um, the last step is just a curve adjustment. So again, we just I just wanted to bring more light into the image. So I basically uh, adjust the curve, curve settings, uh, as you can see here. So yeah, basically this gives the image uh, a, a little bit more light and make that um, brighter. Uh, all these adjustment layers, if you go into layers and go into new adjustment layers and all the options should be here. Um, this is a really handy tool to use when it comes to uh, touch up uh, some uh, of your you know, Photoshop should, photo manipulation work. Um, because it adds a new layer so it doesn't uh, destruct your current layer. Uh, so it's easy to go back if you sort of uh, need to change something, or uh, you basically don't want to don't want to change anything at all later later on. Yeah, so that's pretty much the method I I use to uh, to add colors uh, onto a uh, particular photo manipulation work. Um, once again, if you wanted to check out the full tutorial, I've got the links below. So yeah, just click on the link and you can have a look at that tutorial of this of this um, manipulation yeah so that's it for today thank you very much uh, have a great day